Hey dudes, and dudes, happy now? Now when that is out of the way, welcome to the new video, smash that like button, bam bam bam, enjoy. Do your worst. Carpenter's lover, flat as a board and easy to screw. When men finish, you ask if they are satisfied with their service. I'm so sick of attractive people coming here to get roasted, so this was a nice change of pace. I bet you brag about your boyfriend's moped and entrepreneurial business which is just a call center. I bet you are in flip flops right now. I'd say you were Olivia Rodrigo from Wish.com, but I don't want to insult her. If I'll marry you for a green card was a person. Knock, 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 housekeeping. I'm pretty sure most of the redditors reading your post have bigger tatars than you. Did you shave your mustache for the picture? Lol. On her employment resume, under employment experience it just says tricks. Such short fingers, all of them can pinky promise. Like an old VW, high maintenance and not really that cool. I can only imagine how much time you put in on thighs eyebrows, and they still look awful. Bored. I'd make a more convincing lady boy and I've got a beard. If I was drunk at the bar you'd still look like a three. You got that bug-like face like Mantis from Guardians of the Galaxy. Got that 5 o'clock shadow going. Ironic that your roast me message looks like it came out of a fortune cookie. Your eyebrows are leaking. All that makeup and nothing to hide that stash. You look like a Looney Tune character, like someone took that cartoon pencil and drew your face to low on your head. If you really want to pass for a woman, you should do something about that 5 o'clock shadow. Did you just get done licking the milk off your mustache? You look like you've been using car exhausts for a telescope. I'm bored. Boring, not bored. The plain version of plain. Lots of different looks, but they're all horrible. Dang girl you look like you return library books on time. You look like you have more personalities than IQ points. All this metal piercings and still you don't attract anyone. I respect that you had the courage to show up to that wedding as a maid of horror. The face of a woman whose cats keep running away. By the looks of things, you think Olive Garden is classy restaurant to get engaged at. More grease than homemade chips. They use your forehead to grease down bowling lanes. If you were drowning I'd give you a high five. No seasoning. You look like, never mind I lost the interest, like every guy you've been on a date with. I kept scrolling to the left with unsuccessful hopes. It was like witnessing radiation exposure before and after. Have you considered renting your forehead as billboard space? Or will nothing stick to that grease slick? The ring in your nose only indicates that you will never have one on your finger. Do your best 53 years old white guy, married 20 years, two sons. Let's roast. How stressed were you when the Ashley Madison data hack was leaked? You looked like your sons just sat you down and told you how disappointed they are in you. You have the soulless gaze of a man that's been married 20 years. You look like an actor for pharmaceutical commercials. I would tell a dad joke, but we are looking at it. Do your sons both want to be mailmen like their biological dad? You can take all the bathroom selfies you want. Chris Hansen is still waiting for you outside. Your wife's boyfriend is gonna be upset when he sees how you hang those hand towels back up. You look like you're about to give me your opinions about immigrants without me asking for it. When people do impressions of you, they speak overly nasal and say things like, let's get this show on the road, that's the whole kit and caboodle, and I ordered mild, but this stuff is gonna clear my sinuses. You look like your favorite TV show is the news. You ran right out and finally bought some ring cameras when those neighbors moved in, didn't ya? This guy definitely has a secret spot in the house that he enjoys with his laptop and his special sock after his wife falls asleep. You look like you ruin things for future generations. Thanks for clarifying that you are an old white guy. Never would have guessed. You look like your wife of 20 years has invested so much of your money into Sensi and hasn't turned a profit. Go on. The 3am stripper who smells of baby powder and sadness. You look like an option to choose from in Cards Against Humanity. It's getting pretty obvious when you conceal your track marks like that. 
Might wanna start shooting up between your toes. Well hello there Metheny. Do you like my hair? I did it myself, we can tell. Based on your hidden arm it looks like you got into a fight with Wolverine and lost. You look like you have too big of an attitude for a girl whose pH balance is off. I'm so ready for this. Unfortunately, you don't have the body to be a butterface. You do realize that this isn't the kind of roast you can binge and purge, right? Most of your muscle mass appears to be in your hair. You look like you have to give people money to visit your OF account. You used your go-go gadget neck too much. You look like you cry all the time for no good reason. Welcome back from your time traveling to break up the Beatles. Tell us you're vegan without telling us you're vegan. You look like an insufferable person whose only talent is creating drama, where there is none. It looks like you think you deserve man in the top tax bracket for being skinny. Let me be the one to tell you that you don't have what it takes. I see a cosmetic surgeon in your future. My shoelaces are thicker than you. Bored at work roast me. More gum than Wrigley. It's rare to find pretty young girls on Roast Me. Thanks for keeping up that standard. Ever look at someone and just know they're a Disney adult? Overweight girl dresses in 50s fashion to hide the roles. Never seen that before. Looks like you ate your way out of the 50s. Gotta love it when a girl has no personality, so she has to dress like it's 1950 to prove how cool and original she is. Capital gums, lowercase teeth. Thanks for the pics showing your tatars, so I could figure out you are female. Couldn't figure that out from the first two pics. How much ice cream did you eat when no one asked you to the prom? You look like the theater kid who never made it big, so you made yourself big to cope with your broken dreams. This is the kind of girl who goes to prom in a group of other independent, big-boned girlies who don't need no man to have fun. Will let her kids identify as a wolf. Why is it people with big gums and little teeth never warn you before they smile? Just because you're bored, shouldn't mean we all have to suffer. 30 years old, divorced before I was 25, overweight, unemployed, two kids and I've only found out I have ADHD, and I'm autistic this year. I doubt you can make me feel worse, but go for it, roast me. Well there's always only hams. Wow, that's a lot going on it must feel good to get a load off your chest, rather than on it. 30 years old, divorced before I was 25, overweight, unemployed, two kids and I've only found out I have ADHD, and I'm autistic this year. Sounds like a Tinder bio, might as well add, that your potential man must earn six figures, be at least six inches and my kids are my world and they come first. Listen shovel face stop wasting what little money you have on blunt traps and abstract rodent art. Astrologists do not count as doctors therefore cannot make medical diagnosis, so you should probably see a real one. A cardiologist, psychologist, and dietitian wouldn't hurt either. Good luck out there. I see you allow your kids to draw on you. Damn two baby daddies and are still unemployed. What will it take for you to get up and take care for her kids? Another baby daddy? Well that's a relief to know, that your thousand yard stare has a medical explanation. On shroomies, tear it down folks. You look like you're wearing my grandma's old couch upholstery. Damn, I remember this girl from high school, got pregnant twice in 4 years before 18. Those shrooms are the least fungal thing happening here. Cobwebs all under that dress. You look like your job is chasing after a scarecrow, a tin man, a lion, and a young girl named Dorothy. Oh look, it's the ghost that haunts the attic still pining for a man's touch. You somehow look like a Big Brother contestant's life after Big Brother without actually going on Big Brother. You can tell which way the wind is blowing, just by looking at those tatars. You were the body double for Bortholow Bill from Silence of the Lambs, when he tucked his ding dong between his legs and danced around. Just lost 22 pounds, and need motivation to lose more. Do your worst. If you are trying to look like the fat version of Aubrey Plaza, you're good. Cool can you post the after pics? Don't get discouraged by these comments, they say your big head is the last thing to shrink when you go on a diet. Does losing weight make you unable to clean your bathroom? Why does your forehead look like it's made out of drywall? 
you look like you leave a greasy spot whenever you sit. Trying to lose weight. Posts two pictures that are in restaurants. There are dirt roads in Latin America smoother than your face. The kind of girl that gives your ding dong a nickname during the first date. Get a spoon and start with the makeup. I see at least 21 pounds with that alone. Thanks for watching, you grass eating animals. See you soon. Bye.